Apologies. Announcements are made underway for the 25th annual Royal Thomian Water Polo Encounter that is taking place at the Sukhasdasa Swimming Pool. The under-15 age group just finished with St. Thomas's winning nine goals. Ladies and gentlemen, as you can hear, the crowd is going wild and we are about to start the under-19 age category. Royal are on that side and over here and everybody is for one hell of a match tonight. I'm sending you now to the country box where we have Anish De Silva along with Ravishkit Tissera who will be bringing you the live commentaries of this encounter. Thank you. I am Renal Vithuna Ratna for the media unit in the ICD Society of Thompson College, Margovin. Yes. Good afternoon. Thank you, Renal. Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen. Again, as Renal mentioned, the under-15 encounter just finished, and now both teams are about to line up inside the pool. The uh, coaches are giving their last-minute speeches. <laughs> All the preparation, the strategy, the game plan, everything's been revised. Now it's time for the players to enter the pool and make the most of it. St. Thomas's College coming into this encounter with three consecutive wins. Royal College have yet to taste the, uh, the sweet taste of victory since the year of 2012 where they came from behind from a first leg deficit to win as we wait for both teams to enter the pool and the Tomians have just got in so Royal will also get in soon and the swim ball will commence for the first quarter St. Thomas was captained by head prefect of the school, Ashen Francis, whereas in Royal College, it's captained by Kisal Asalarache. Yes, and uh, you just saw Renalda, he now joins us in the commentary box. Good afternoon, Renal. And good evening, Anish. I'm pretty sure that we'll be having a really interesting match lined up today. And we can see the two teams have lined up. And the announcements are going. And in any time now, we'll be starting the swim ball. Ladies and gentlemen, the crowd are here in pin drop silence, waiting for that whistle, waiting for that buzzer to go off. Getting this first swim ball can be the difference, possibly. It's always a pressure situation right at the start. And, and the swim ball the commences. The players are swimming forward. Whose ball is it going to be? 
And it looks like St. Thomas are in possession. Is the number four on that occasion? That, that's Shannon Ebenezer from St. Thomas's. And attempts a shot. It was a good save by the Royal goalkeeper. Ambitious effort there by Ebenezer. The Royal goalkeeper there was sharp. Of course, you need to understand that that's actually a rather good attempt, especially at the start of this match. You know, when things are just getting underway, if the Thomians were able to get off the board, it would have put a lot of pressure on Royal College at the start of this match. S especially seeing how the under-15 team performed and St. Thomas's went on to win 9-5. Thomians being the aggressors at the start, but now Royal College at the ball. Quick outlet. Passes on to Royal number two. When the referee blows his whistle, some confusion out there in the middle. Royal College take a shot. But not successful on that occasion. And we see the Tomian goalkeeper sends out the ball once again to his man. And Shannon Ebenezer there passes on to Isura Kahandwala. He takes a shot, but a good attempt there by the goalkeeper. He's ensuring that nothing will get past him today. He'll be doing his very best to save his team. He knows how important this match is. Royal College unsuccessful in the last three consecutive years. Uh, they'll really be able to look into come back into this encounter. Fine save there by Deshita Henanaka. Goes out for a corner ball. Basit Yakub gets the foul, goes for the shot, hits the post. How unlucky is that? How unlucky is that? Of course, we've seen a number of shots throughout the start of this game, although it has not been long. What do you think about the players consistently going for their shots? Shows intent, shows aggression. Renal, both teams will be dying to win this encounter. This is Yakub at the centre, gives it off to the bar. Jakub surveys the scene, extra man for Royal College, the number 5 for Sir Thomas has been sent out. He'll be out for 20 seconds. This could be where Royal look to capitalise. They have that extra man advantage. Samanayaka sends it out. Oh, quick shot and a score goal. for Royal College! Can you believe it? In the very start of the match, Royal College getting off the board. This will definitely release a lot of pressure off the Royal fans. We can hear them cheering and supporting their team. So Renal with that extra man advantage, so it makes it a lot more easy for any team to actually take on a goal. But of course, the most important thing is making sure you capitalize on that advantage. It's quite often we can see that people get excited yes. when they know that they have that extra man advantage. But being able to make the most of that is really what makes a team great. Yes, Renal. So now. St. Thomas is with the position of the ball. Shannon Ebenezer playing at centre, gives it off to the bar. That's Ashane Francis from St. Thomas's. Good reflex save there by the Royal goalkeeper. Finds a quick outlet to Jakub. You can see that throughout the progression of this game, the Royal keep goalkeeper has been having a lot of work to do. But of course has been successful thus far. Turnover ball. St. Thomas's College have it now. Ashen Francis now passes on to Deshita Henanayaka, the goalkeeper of St. Thomas's. Shannon Ebenezer. And the number seven there in that awkward corner. It's back to him. Would he look for a goal? He gives it a shot but deflects off the bar once again. Here's Jakub now looking for the outlet. Decides to keep it to himself. Looks unsure of where to go. He has space. He drives forward. Picked up by Francis. Gives it out to Samaranaka. Samaranaka to the prop. Asalarachi. Stolen off. One Excellent the marking there. The captain there going for his shot. He'd definitely be the person who'll want to make his team go up in the lead 2 0. 
poor outlet there. Gives it straight back to Royal College. And he's looking for his options. Foul. Is Yakub? Thought about shooting there. Gives it off to the proper. Oh, and what it's a second goal. What a backhand. What a backhand by Asal Arachi. Asal Arachi displaying his strength there. Prop is a big bad man. Yes, Anish, that was a brilliant goal by the Royal Captain. In fact, there can be no greater feeling than captaining your side and being the one to take your team into the lead. Of course, now Royal College in the lead. Two points, two goals rather, to nil over St. Thomas's College in this all-important Dr. R. L. Heyman Challenge Trophy. That was a good attempt by Ashen Francis for the goal. But unfortunately, the Royalists managed to save it. Time out here by St. Thomas's College. They need to get the Act straight, they're down two goals. Good start for all college. They've kept the pressure on, they've got they've taken shots, they've shown their strength. Thompson's college have been kept at bay so far. And it looks like they've taken a timeout on that occasion. It would be interesting for both schools. St. Thomas's would need to recuperate and see what they can do in order to come back into this game. Where Royal College would not want to concede a goal in this quarter and seek to increase their lead more and more. Anish, if you were the coach at a time like this, what would you tell your players? Tell them to stay calm. It's just the beginning of the game. Anything can happen between now and the end of the fourth quarter. It's important that St. Thomas's College tries to get some momentum now. Royal College will look to keep doing what they've been doing so far. Indeed, and once again, play is underway. So the timeout concludes and the players are back again. Royal now with the position of the ball. Stolen there by Ashton Francis. Foul given. Foul again for St. Thomas's. This is Shannon Ebenezer. St. Thomas's looking, looking to, to capitalize. That's a brilliant save by the Royal goalkeeper, Anish. Yes, brilliant reflex save. It was coming at him fast. Now Royal looking to counter attack quickly. Held up there. Again to the big prop, Asal Arachi. It's a turnover ball, it's a ball under there. And St. Thomas's College once again in possession. He's making good ground. This is Sachi the Jatilaka, Stormian vice captain. He's taken away from the goal there. And could that be a foul for St. Thomas's? Oh, so unlucky. It hit the post. How Tom many times have we seen this so far in this match? The Thomian supporters cannot believe this. So close yet so far on so many occasions. This is Jakub now, he surveys the scene, takes it forward, looks for options, gives it to Samaranayaka there. Asal Arachi, taken off there by the prop marker. And Royal College giving no room whatsoever there. Oh, it looks like the big prop there, Sachita Jayathilaka, with an opportunity. Unable to make the most of it. Gets the foul, passes it out. St. Thomas's College would be looking to recuperate at this moment. Another timeout by St. Thomas's College. Oh, beg your pardon. Sorry, yes, it is a timeout for St. Thomas's College.
As you can see, ladies and gentlemen, that Royal College flag flying high. The spirits of the Royal supporters will be at an all-time high here. They've come to watch their team win. And that is nothing but what the Royal College water ball players will be looking to do here. So they two love up here in this game. We're looking to make the most of this. So the Royalists are after a good start. They have got already two goals. They made the school proud so far. They have to maintain it. Immediate reply by St. Thomas College. And how about that? We saw a timeout just being taken. And right afterwards, St. Thomas's College coming back with a goal. Ravishka, what do you have to say to this? Of it's course, we can see that the timeout has been rather strategic. This has been really good by St. Thomas's now. They managed to keep get the act together. They know that it's necessary to get goals in order to win this game. And that was such a look at their scoring for St. Thomas's College. We saw both props able to make names themselves so far in this match. The Royal Captain, the Tomi and Vice Captain on that occasion. Off to Asalarachi. Oh, excellent effort, excellent backhand there by Asalarachi again displaying his strength. Hey. And Ayaka now with the ball gives it off to Sanaka Molligoda. That's a brilliant goal there by St. Thomas's. Oh, and how about that, Ravishka? How about that, Anish? St. Thomas's College are back in this match. Two goals all. It's anybody's game at this moment. That goal was taken by none other than the captain of St. Thomas's, Ashen Francis. Excellent display of strength and power there by Ashen Francis. Caught the goalkeeper off guard. And now St. Thomas's College back in it. Of course, we saw a number of times the Thomians taking the shots, going for a chance at goal at a number of occasions. And it's finally paying off. That's the end of the first quarter, ladies and gentlemen, with the scores tied. So it's rather interesting. If you take the progression of this first quarter of the match, you had Rog actually in the lead, and then St. Thomas is coming back. Indeed, in terms of this college after that timeout came out of the firing with Ashen Francis and Sachin Jadilaka getting on the scoreboard. We were tied at two all after this first half, a tight first half with just the two goals apiece. A great display of strength by Kisal Asalarachi. To, with that back shrugging off the prop marker such as the Jadir, like a very rare you see goals uh, like that uh, of that kind just we, yeah. we saw him attempt that a couple of times later also, however not the most successful of course the definitely took the Tomians by surprise There may be a lot of things happening out here tonight, but I can one thing, and that is we are going to have a really close encounter at our hands, ladies and gentlemen. If we take the Lavala League earlier this year, and Royal College very close behind. This only tells you that the two schools are right up in their game. And this may be the best water polo you see among two schools. Teams have national players, both teams have come. Even the reserves coming on. I mentioned this earlier at an interview. So, 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 so swim ball of the second card.
We saw St. Thomas's College be able to get the advantage of it in the first quarter. Gonna have it now. Whose ball is it? Coop again gets the foul. Looks to shoot. Jatilika falls kindly for Thompson's college. As he passes it off. Shaman, the number seven on that occasion. Center. Whose ball is it? Manson Thomas with a shot. Attempting a shot at goal. Just missing on that occasion. So St. Thomas have put their second goalkeeper, Dilit Kumara Singh. Basit Yakub again. Tries to give it in to Asalarachi. Gets it. Held up there. He misses the backhand. It just goes over the post. Of course, it was a good attempt there. He's trying different things. He's trying to take the Tomians by surprise. Good prop marking there by Royal College. They win it off such a Dadirga. Of course, it can only be too natural. They've seen the man score once and they want to make sure he can never do it again. Indeed. Double mark there. You see that Royal player getting no room whatsoever. He's looking for his options to pass the ball. Oh, and that's the referee's whistle. It looks like a throw. Comes this college ball. Kumar Singh has it now. Feeds it to Jatilaka. Good block there by the goalkeeper. St. Thomas College may be having a chance once again here. Have to pass it behind that 5 meter line. And St. Thomas's College, do they have a chance? The dummy. Pass back. Do they have a shot here? Do they have a shot? And, and they goal. have it. St. Thomas's College get into the lead of this match for the first time. Taking the scores up to three points to two. Ladies and gentlemen, we have for you the instant replays. Now, we see that goal. The Tomians there passing it around, going for that dummy. Turning out to be immensely successful there once again. Sharon Ebenezer with that goal. This is Jakub now for all, who will be looking to reply immediately. To the bar, Rana Singer. Given no room there. Let's send it Samra Nayaka there from Royal College. Oh, and he attempts a shot at goal. He done lucky there for Royal. It was not the easiest of angles. He decided to go for it. It's Jati Laka now. And that's a brilliant goal from St. Thomas's. That's such a Jati Laka. Managed How to get the fourth goal for St. Thomas's. How about this? Royal College were in the lead. Two love. But St. Thomas's College have come in hard to this match, giving no room whatsoever for Royal to come back into this. They're increasing that lead ever so slowly, and now it goes up to 4 2 in favor of St. Thomas's College. So, Ravishka, what do you think is going through the minds of all the players in that pool right now for Royal College? So Royal must be like really under pressure. They were off to a good start in the first quarter. And now the Tomias have managed to steal their fire. So now the Royalists need to concentrate and focus and try to ma manage to get as much goals as possible in order to get the Dr. R.L. Heyman Trophy. And the Dr. R.L. Heyman Trophy is what they want indeed. But of course, it also goes to say that you can never be too confident at a time when you're leading an encounter like this water polo match. You may be ahead, but you never know what can happen. The tables can always turn. Jakub with the foul looks to shoot. Blocked there by Kumara Singh. It's a corner ball for Royal College. Mm -hmm. 
You see the replaced goalkeeper there, having a wonderful day out there in the pool. He's not given a single goal. Of yes. course, Royal College no short of trying either. Ashen Francis with the ball. And it's a shot! St. Thomas's. That's Ashen Francis. Ladies and gentlemen, the captain of the St. Thomas's managed to get the fifth goal. And how brilliant is this? We see how fast this game can go. We saw Royal College attempting a shot at goal just a little while back. And in no time, Ashen Francis on the offensive scores and puts St. Thomas's 5 2 up on the board. This can be a game changer, ladies and gentlemen. 5-2 is never an easy point to come back for. The crowd is going wild, cheering on their side. And St. Thomas's College once again in possession. Kumara Singer quickly out. Puts it to Jatilaka, who is marked by two men. Royal College steal the ball off of him. Some good work there by Royal College. Anticipating that pass to the big prop over there, such as the Jatilaka. Basi Tiagub now, he has some space, he has room. Takes a shot, excellent block there by Kumara Singer. That, that was a really good save by the Kumara Singer. This is his first Heyman as well. So he's managing and to be, be the goalkeeper in the second quarter, this is uh, tremendous. And in fact, St. Thomas's College would be looking out for people like this. People who can lead the side in the next couple of years. And this can definitely be one of them. Exclusion there. Extra man for Royal College. Royal College here with an advantage. Can they make the most of it? We saw them do this in the first quarter. Royal College with a chance. Will he take a shot? And he does. Just sails over the goal. How unlucky is that? The entire Royal crowd will be having their hearts in their mouth at that point. It's really important for Royal to get back on the board. We know that they have the capability, we know that they have the talent. We saw that in the first quarter, how they played the first few minutes of the game. It'll be very important for them to get back in this. Excellent pressure there by St. Thomas's College. Win the ball back. And it's another goal for St. Thomas's College. That was taken by Isura Kahandavala from St. Thomas's. And can you stop this team? Can you stop St. Thomas's? St. Thomas's have come back with some fight that the Royalists never anticipated. Now this is four goals for St. Thomas's in the second quarter. Mr. Sort of Kandavala also a talented water polo player. For and indeed one of the fastest swimmers on the blocks there for St. Thomas's College. Showing his colours and shooting once again. You see it's important not just one person, not just two people, but how the entire team can be attacking, how the entire team can shoot. And it's not just the props, it's not just the bars, but every single player out there in the middle. We visit it to Asalarachi. Asalarachi in the tangle there with Jayatilaka. Extra man for Royal College now. Passes it beyond that five meter point. And Royal College will be looking to capitalize once again. Royal College, will you go for a shot? Pass Manjan it out Fernando there from Royal College. Is Ivana De Silva? Pass it on to Basit Yakub. They'll be watching the time now also. They go for that shot. There's a good save there by Dili Kumara Singha from St. Thomas's. De Silva looking for the lob pass to Asalarachi. Didn't work out there. St. Thomas's College have got their seventh man back in the pool looking to attack now. As Dili Kumara Singha, of course, having a terrific game. A dream one for him. You'd always want to be that star. When it comes to a Royal Tom, especially one of the calibre of Heyman like this. There's another attempt for a goal by Ashen Francis. But a bit unlucky there. Time out for Royal College. Of course, this can be a very important time out. As we saw how it worked for St. Thomas's College at the start, when Royal College were leading to love, it was after that crucial time out that the game really changed for St. Thomas's College. It always may be just a few words of advice from the coach, but that may take you a long way, especially when the two teams are so evenly matched. Indeed, Renal. They need to 
Change the strategy of BTS and Thomas' College asserting their dominance here in the second quarter. They look confident. But of course, like what we saw in the first quarter, it's anyone's game. A little lead may be no different. It's a lot about the stamina, it's a lot about the concentration. The players are also playing here under lights at the Sukhdasa swimming pool. And that concludes the timeout. And there's a tussle out there in the centre for the ball. St. Thomas is making a long pass. Had that been cleanly collected, there would have been a good chance for St. Thomas's College. Number seven there, looking to pass it to the centre and a shot. And successful there. Bit unlucky there, such a desire to occur. It's good save by that goalkeeper. But of course, I see Vanna De Silva with the ball. He's got some space here. He'll be looking to shoot. One on one with the goalkeeper. Tomi is defending valiantly. Extra man now. We've seen this on a number of occasions. Royal College unable to capitalize the last two occasions. Can they do it this time? He takes a shot at goal. Bounces off the post, but a good rebound there. Royal College adding to their tally, taking the scores up to three points to six. This would be an important break for Royal College. It would help release a lot of pressure off the players. And sometimes it can be just one goal that brings about the momentum shift out there in the middle. Ladies and gentlemen, it looks like that would be half time. And it's safe to say that it can be anyone's game at this moment. Indeed, Renal St. Thomas's College with a three goal lead going into this second half. Royal College will be looking to get back into the game. That final goal would have really helped most of the Royalists on that occasion. Indeed, they'll be going into the second half with confidence now. Not a massive deficit. Three goals. They can easily catch up. Both teams will be looking to use their props. Both props have scored. It'll be interesting to see how the second half goes. We also saw how the Royal Captain was able to use the backhand quite effectively. And in fact, it can be these little adjustments and probably fine bits of advice given by these coaches that really help the players outfox the others. We've noticed on so many occasions it's different to what the players see inside the pool to how a coach sees it from the outside. And that slight bit of advice can be what gets people over the line. Yeah, and the St. Thomas' coach is Zafar Zainuddin, who was the vice captain in 2005 for St. Thomas's, and he was also the goalie, and he represented the country as well. So it's no question there. The Tomian goalie, Dilip Kumar Singh, here there, would be wanting to do his very best. Impress his coach as well. Indeed, both teams filled with a lot of talent, both teams filled with national players. With St. Thomas's College having numerous under-17 players, as well as Royal College. Of course, at the top of that, we're having Asher and Francis leading their under-17 team for Sri Lanka. St. Thomas's College utilized counter-attacking strategy very well to great effect in this first half. They'll be looking to do much the same. Royal College counter with the Thomians passing the ball quickly and getting shots off. So the Royal Coach is Bilal Hassan. He was um, he was played in 2008 and he that was when Royal was really victorious at the, those years from 2005 to 2009. In fact Ravishko if I'm not mistaken I was told that Royal had an undefeated streak from the year 2005 to 2009, probably one of the golden years in Royal water polo. Yes, indeed, Rena. Those were one of those glorious years from 2005 to 2009. And Royal will be doing all they can to regain that glory, to regain that lost prestige in their water polo team. With uh, the Royal coach Bilal Hassan being in a victorious side, can explain to them the importance of winning for Royal and how they managed to get over the obstacles in 2008. And of course there's nothing like having that winner's mentality.
Excuse me, ladies and gentlemen. We're currently having an overly enthusiastic crowd who's knocking over most of our equipment. We'll be back to you shortly, but we're currently undergoing some issues. And before the third quarter comes into being, we'll be bringing you the live streams here from the Subhik Dasa. Ladies and gentlemen, once again, we return to you with this live stream brought to you by the media unit and the ICT Society of St. Thomas's College, Mount Lavinia. I am Ronaldo Kumaratnan here in the commentary box alongside Ravish Kusera and Anish Kusera. This is Renal, and now the third quarter will commence shortly. St. Thomians are in back in the pool, ready for the swim ball. Royal is about to get in. It's now necessary f for the Royalists to ma get these goals in order to overtake St. Thomas's. Because now the well, score is from 6 to 3. Indeed, and also we would notice that the coaches had been talking to their players continuously. There would be a lot to, to go out there. And of course, you can never underestimate the importance of this initial swim ball. And there it is, the whistle goes and both players rushing to the middle. Whose ball is it? It's extremely close, but Royal uh. securing the ball for a second time. Jakub now with the ball. Gives it to the bar, runner singer, held up by the Thomians. Referee calls a foul. Quick shot there. Of course, Royal College really need this. They need to go for their goals. They need to make some attempts to get back on that scoreboard. Defending would not be the only thing that gets them through at this point. They really need to move on to the attack. But of course, we also need to understand the total tally is what counts in order for you to win this RL Heyman Challenge Cup. Ashen Francis with the ball. Gives it to... Isura Kahan Dewala. Bit unlucky there for Isura. As he went a bit on the side of the goal. Saved there by the goalkeeper. For our college. Corner ball for St. Thomas's. Doing the Vijay Vardana. Of course all these things would individually be putting pressure on the Royalists. Seeing the Thomians go to score and again and again can never be an easy sight to watch. And You'll always be watching your back. You'll always be looking. When does he score? When will he try? Especially in terms of most of the Royal players, this can never be easy. It's always at the back of your mind, knowing that you're trailing also in this game. Jakub with the ball gives tries to give to Asalarachi. Saved there by Henanaika. Beg your pardon, ladies and gentlemen, Dilith Kumar Singh in goal. Well, it looks like it may have been a boil on that occasion, a small foul. 
because he'll have to get behind that line and pass it on. Royal College have a chance here. Goalkeeper going for it and saves that once again for St. Thomas's College. Should have handed now from St. Thomas's. Pass on to such a giant liquor. Good yes. reflexes there by the goalkeeper for Royal College. Coming to hit Tiarachi. Yes, Kalindu Hittiarachi has a lot of experience in the past Heyman encounters. And of course, all of this experience would really help you at a time like this. Especially when you're down on the board and when you're really feeling the heat of things, the pressure, the crowd roaring, the lights in your eyes and all these things coming at you. At times, this is experience that can really get you over the line. Why are we here? The buzzer for another timeout. We've seen the ball being passed back and forth quite quickly in this quarter of play. Royal trying to be aggressive in this quarter. And rightly so, they really need to come back on the board. So of course, Renal, the scores are from six and Royal are at three. So they need to catch up and try to overtake St. Thomas's and give and give themselves a victory this time for the first leg of the Dr. R. L. Heyman Trophy. You see there the coach, Zafar Zainuddin, giving advice to the players. It's crucial for St. Thomas's to try and score once again. Having a lead of about four goals can never be easy for the next team to catch up. And of course, you can never be too comfortable with where you are. There's always that second leg that you need to carry on this lead to. So every single goal that goes from now on to both teams can make a big difference in the final scores. Straight pass there by Sanaka Mondi, going to picked up by Royal College. Basit Yakub breaking in the corner. Gets the ball. Held up well there, but foul goes to Royal College. This is Yakub again. Looks for his options. And do Royal College have a chance here? Some good playing there by the Tomian defense. But it looks like it's a foul pass back beyond that five meter line. There's a tussle out there in the center for the ball. Royal College emerging victorious. When he takes a shot, it's not the easiest of shots. He knew that his time was running out and that he had to make it. it good option there by the Royalists. Now St. Thomas is with possession. Lil Kumar Singh passes it on. Sanaka Mondi Goda. Extra man for St. Thomas's College. St. Thomas's would be looking to capitalize. They're passing it around. Attempt to shot at goal, but unsuccessful on this occasion. Rashid Aziz is now out for 20 seconds. It can never be easy to have a player of yours sent off. Apart from the fact that you're one man down, it also gets into the minds of the other players. They'll always feel that they have a man unmarked. It can never be easy. Ambitious effort there by Yakub goes flying over the bar. Kumar Singer now looking to pass. Shurukandavala from St. Thomas's. Pass it on to his captain, Ashin Francis. And Francis there with the dummy. Passes it back to Kandavala. Kandavala. Looking for his options. And St. Thomas's may be having a chance here. They go for a shot at goal. Well done there once again by the Royal goalkeeper. There's a good shot by Shannon Ebenezer from St. Thomas's. The scoreboard now is six three in favor of St. Thomas's College as they take another timeout. You see these timeouts are one thing that both teams would look to use to their advantage the most. It can be an extremely strategic move. But of course something that needs to be done with precision. Of course you need to give right orders and right advice to your players. And of course now, when third quarter of play, I'm sure most naturally, there'll be some 
level of fitness needed at this point. The players may be feeling slightly tired out there in the middle. And Anish, what's the feeling out there? What does it feel when it comes to like the third quarter? It's an intense feeling, Rana, probably for these players. They work so hard, training for 10 months. This is what it all comes down to. This is what their training comes down to. When it comes to water polo for these two schools, nothing gets bigger to them than the Royal Thomian encounter. You see the crowd com coming to support in their numbers. There's no shortage of fans here for both Royal and St. Thomas's. Oh, Shane Francis with the ball from St. Thomas's. It's for an opening, but the Royalist is managing to defend him. Ashen's oh, effort goes sailing wide now. This is coming to Hitiar with the ball. Oh, excellent pass there. The Royal College have a chance. Some good defense coming there by the Tomians, completely outnumbering him on that occasion. It looks like it may be a foul to Royal College. Was he behind that line? Ball still with Royal College. It seems like he hadn't got behind that line on that occasion. An all important five meter line. It can be difficult to notice this, especially when you're under pressure. A situation like this. Jakub again. Block, excellent block there. And it's a goal for Royal College. Brilliant goal there. So Royal has come. decided to pick themselves up. Oh, and Royal College is not a school that you can hold down. They have come back strongly in this encounter. They had the lead at the start, but the Tomians went on to score six in a row. But Royal have come back to reply with two of their own. This brings the score to 4-6 in favour of St. Thomas's College. That was a brilliant goal there by Anthony Vijay Warden from Royal College. We saw a previous attempt there, unsuccessful. But they were on their toes. They I'm saw the opportunity. They were able to capitalize. So I'm guessing, Renal, that these advices that these coaches give are actually they put it into good use. And that's why we can see a change of game right now. Excellent save there by Kavin Hete Arachi. Ball still with St. Thomas's College. Oh, and St. Thomas's College with a couple of dummies there. Sails over the post on that occasion. Of course, you can see the momentum may slowly be shifting in favor of Royal College. Now sending Samaranayaka with the ball from Royal College. Passed on to his prop. Salarachi gets the foul. Gives it back to Jakub. Good save there by Kumar Singh. You may wonder whether the Tomian coaches would be looking to have another timeout in this occasion. So sometimes with the position of the ball. The foul has been called. And the ball goes back to Royal College. Royal College here. He may be having a chance. Also, Larachi tries to turn that. It's like a goal for Sir Royal College. That big prop on that occasion once again. He went one on one with the goalkeeper. Takes the score to five goals to six in favour of St. Thomas's College. The uh, captain has been having a gem of a match today. Kisal Asalarachi must be responsible for his team, so he needs to get those goals. He needs to get Royal College there. He needs to get them right to the top and overcome and try and manage to get Dr. Allen and Helen Trophy this year. Of course, we can see it once again. The captain's leading from the front. How important is that when you're facing a team sport, especially like the likes of water polo? Both captains here showing their intent, both scoring goals. Asal Arachi out muscling his prop marker there Tilaka on that occasion. The two big men there, both of them. Jeffrey puts the ball back into play. Ball with St. Thomas's College now. Oh ambitious there by St. Thomas's College. Yeah, such a desire to look ambitious effort there. Looking do we get one to one ah. with the royal prop on that occasion?
That concludes the third quarter with the scores reading 6-5 in favor of St. Thomas's College, Royal College. By eating into that lead, which stood at three at the start of this quarter, but now has come down to one. Anthony Vijayavadana and Kisal Asalarachi both scoring for the school. Vijayavadana's goal, an excellent manipulation of the angles on that occasion. Very difficult to score from such an angle. But he did well to score there. And Asalarachi again displaying his strength in the prop position. And of course, that prop position is an extremely important position. Having a good prop is basically what your game plan and what your line of attack can be centered around. Any team at the stage and at a level as high as this will be looking to have their prop against their best players on that field. Indeed, Rana. Your prop is a, the, the, the vital position is prop and even in international water polo you see it's very rare that a prop actually scores because so much attention is paid to the prop. And of course rightly so we see on this occasion how dangerous a prop can be if he's not guarded well and they do not pay close attention to his movements. Indeed Renal and also those extra man situations count for a lot. The ball movement, the opening up of the angles, both teams looking to create those gaps. With that extra man, the extra man is vital, and we see that both teams have scored with the extra man in this game. It will be it will be vital to both teams in this fourth quarter because, as we both know, the fourth quarter is very tight. It's a very tight affair, the game overall, and it will be interesting to see how both teams come out in this final quarter. It's a test of grit, it's a test of stamina, and it's a test of these players' individual and courage. It's more than just skill when it comes to a point like this. Of course, like you said, players will be looking to make the most of this final quarter. Of course, they'll know that this is not the end. Losing or winning here is not the end of this encounter. This is, of course, the next leg that will be happening on the 8th of October next week. which will also be brought to you live by the Media Inc. and the ICT Society of St. Francis College of Virginia. And for all of you, ladies and gentlemen, who are unable to tune in this at this moment, We'd like to remind you that this live stream would be up for you to view at any time later on even. It would be found in St. Thomas's College, Mount Lavinia YouTube page. These are a few of the initiatives done by the Media Unit and the ICT Society. Now the fourth quarter is about to commence. We're going to have swim ball and the swim ball just started. The Thomians and Royalists both swimming. They know that it's, it's the final quarter. Royal got two, St. Thomas has got one. And it looks like Royal have got the third. First 30 seconds of play. See what Royal can do. Looking for the options. Shani Samran Nayaka there. Gives it to Asal Arachi. Good work on Jayathil on, on that occasion. Because we were just talking about the importance. This is an opportunity for St. Thomas's. No foul. Salaka Molli go to there from St. Thomas's. Not the best of angles, however. Captain now from St. Thomas's with the ball. Attempts a shot! That is nicely secured by the Royal goalkeeper. Falling to hit the Royal goalkeeper has been having a brilliant game towards the last couple of quarters. He's diving valiantly and saving some definite goal opportunities for St. Thomas's. Royal College once again in possession. We're looking to even up that gap. Shot from distance there by Royal College, saved by Tirith Kumar Singh. Of course, the 30 seconds was going ever so fast. Crowd shouting on the player to take that shot. Well, it looks like Royal College may be having a chance here. He sent it to safety to the goalkeeper. Calling to hit Tiarachi now. He's looking for his options. He makes a long pass. And ladies and gentlemen, that's the vice captain from Royal College, Tamid Rani Singh. Oh, and Royal College may be having a chance here. Can they even the scores? He's almost one on one with the goalkeeper. And some brilliant, brilliant work goalkeeping there, there. By the Tomian goalkeeper. It's never easy when you're one on one. It's an amazing effort there by Dilit Kumar Singh. He's only 17 years of age. He's indeed proving to be one of the rising stars. 
Sana can only go to now with an opportunity to score. And can he get his? An extra man for St. Thomas's. Ashen Francis now with the ball. Be looking to score. And he scores! Ashen Francis taking St. Thomas's College into the lead. St. Thomas's College had been stagnant at six goals for a long time. And you needed the work of a captain to take St. Thomas's once again to a commanding position in the lead. This takes the scores to 7 5 in favour of St. Thomas's College. That was a brilliant goal there by Ashen Francis. But we, I, like I said before, the extra man advantage gives you an opportunity to score. And if you take that opportunity very well, you can easily accomplish that goal. And in fact, that was what the Thomians did so well on that occasion. They use their extra man opportunity to their biggest advantage. And Royal College here looking aggressive. Can they score? And, and they have scored! And that was done by none other than the captain Kisa Lasalarachi from, from Royal College. We should be having instant replays here. It's a beautiful goal there. A couple of dummies put in. A pass made. Sent to that big prop over there. And he shoots. Apologies, it's how in the Disanayak over there. In the front, scoring that goal for Royal College. And keeping that lead at just one goal. Sarag Monugar passes the ball to Ashin Francis. We look at the shoot, Francis. Thinks twice about it. Doesn't. And the Royal defense coming on hard on that occasion. So Thompson's college ball. Oh, and it's and a stunner! It's, shot. it's an absolute stunner by Ashin Francis. Oh no, the goal's not there. Royal College had the ball. They can't make the most of it. And Tiarachi gives it up. This is Jakub now on the wing. How about that confusion in the crowd? The spectators could not believe this. The ball was in the goal. And everyone's hearts were in their mouths. Oh, and it's an absolute stunner by Royal College. They've gotten back into this game. That was the vice captain from Royal College, Tami Durana Singh. They have a brilliant goal there. And we see how fast this game is. St. Thomas's College just felt like they had another goal. But Royal College coming back. It's unfortunate there because Dilip Kumar Singh has been showing some tremendous effort here as being the goalkeeper. But unfortunately, he managed to miss that one out. Of course, it can be distracting. We saw the crowd really getting involved, really voicing their opinions on that occasion. Saraka Molikula gives it to Sachin Jatilka. Oh, it's an extra man for St. Thomas's College. Exclusion. Zashin yeah. Francis. Gives it up, Jayatilaka scores! Oh, and how about this? There's confusion out there in the center. A lot of whistles being blown. Is this St. Thomas's move that takes them into the lead? Indeed it is, Renal. It's 8 7 to St. Thomas's College. Immediately reply to the goal by Royal. Sachin Jayatilaka with an excellent Royal. pass by Ashin Francis. Royal College would have just felt like they've come back into this match by bridging the scores and bring it up to 7 all. But St. Thomas's College showing that you can. Shoots blocked there by Hetty Arachi. Excellent reflex save there. Good attempt there by Ashin Francis. We've seen in this fourth quarter lots of people going for their shots. And of course, both schools coming back into this. It's a close attempt. It's anyone's game. It's 8 7 in favor of St. Thomas's. Foul by the Tomian prop.
surveys his options. The Finds. Clock. The clock is ticking now. And it's in a matter of time the game will conclude. So both teams need to manage and secure victory in this first leg. Went for a lob there. The wing for Royal College. Saved there by Kumara Singh at Royal College corner ball. The Royal College coach they are calling for a timeout. They need to have a word with his players. They really want them to score a couple of times and get back in this match. Yes indeed, Renal. They need to get three more goals in order to overtake St. Thomas's in this first leg. But however, on the other hand, Renald, I must say that even though the losing team of today's game still has an opportunity to show their true colours in the second leg as well. So I'm saying that even in the, during the second leg, if they manage to overtake their current goals, they can even get victory and get the Dr. R. Heaven trophy. Quite true, Ravishka. It's a matter of consistency as much as it's a matter of talent. And this Royal Tomian water, water polo encounter apologies, proves it nonetheless. Having two legs in two consecutive weeks, it's not a matter of how you perform on that day, it's a matter of how you perform for two weeks running. Indeed, and if you remember in 2012, Royal College trailed in the first leg by a three goal deficit and they managed to come back from behind and win in one of those most memorable victories in recent history. Even last year, the first leg was tied 7-7. St. Thomas's College coming on to win. Yes, indeed, Anish. The 2000 and by Kalindu Hetiarachi from Royal. And that will mark the conclusion of the first leg of this R.L. Heyman water polo encounter. St. Thomas's College are coming on top. That was a brilliant, brilliant uh, effort there by St. Thomas's. St. Thomas's managing to get nine and Royal still at eight. However, in the second leg, Royal still has the opportunity to overtake St. Thomas's in the second leg. So the Thomians need to maintain their consistency. They need to maintain their same game what they played today. They need to bring it on to the second leg in order to secure the Dr. R.L. Heyman trophy. And in fact, we've seen through the four quarters of this match, the unpredictability of this water polo encounter. We've seen it going from Royal being in advantage to St. Thomas's coming back to the Royal College once again coming in and closing in that gap. Now, the two schools being on an absolutely equal footing with St. Thomas's College just one goal ahead. Ladies and gentlemen, one thing I can guarantee you is that the second leg is definitely going to be one to remember. Yes, indeed, Rena, it's going to be one of the most inter interesting uh, Royal Thomian water polo encounters you will see because you can see the score is nine from St. Thomas's and Royal are still at eight. So Royal will need to work hard in order to achieve that Dr. R.L. Heyman trophy. But the Thomians, however, need to maintain this. They need, they need both. It's, go it's going to be a really interesting game, Rena. I, I would say that the second leg is going to be one hell of a game. And of course, the media unit and the ICT unit of St. Thomas's College, Mount Lavinia, We'll be bringing you the live streams of that as well. You can find us on the College app, on the YouTube page, on the Facebook page, or on the College website. This is Renal Vikram Ratna. This is Ravish Katisera. This is Anish De Silva. We are signing out on behalf of the Media Unit and the ICT Society of St. Thomas's College, Mount Lavinia. Thank you. Good night. Esther Perpetua.